Okay, so we have a number of CCTV uh, systems uh, on the property. Uh, this is a uh, HVU, HP, uh, sorry, HV PTZ500. It's a uh, 5 megapixel PoE IP camera and the uh, picture has been a little bit uh, disappointing uh, last few days and I don't know whether you can see it but we have some condensation uh, inside. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Yeah, maybe you can. So I have uh, taken this off. This is one of the ones that covers part of the rear of the property and uh, we've got uh, multiple systems as I say. So I'm trying to find out exactly how this has happened. We've got rubber silicon rubber bungs in the top that protect the screws. Uh, we've got the label still on there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can crack this open and uh, try and work out where the water's coming in from. So first screw is uh, unremarkable. Same with the second. And same with the third. So, um, I mean, it's possible, I suppose. We've got, got a spider uh, and some insects crawling around in there. It could just be moisture getting in through the air. Um, certainly no signs of any ingress through these screws. Let's see if we can find the right screwdriver. These are stainless steel I believe for uh, its uh, anti-corrosion properties. I don't know how much stripping down we've got to do to get to the... Uh, well, no. I'm do this over the bin. We've got all sorts of insects and stuff running around in there and there goes one of the screws on the floor let's just tip these others out so could just be insects causing that problem I don't know where that screw went I'll have to find it later off a of camera perhaps right so wiring out. Just going to brush this off. There's uh, all sorts of insect remains and stains on here. Okay, so how do we get this apart? It says do not open, so is it a... Ah, it unscrews. Oh, you know what? I could have left this in place perhaps. Yeah, there we go. So uh, that could have just been left in place and this could have been removed and cleaned. Well, we'll know that in future. But it was worth checking. Now there is a little silica bag there that um, probably needs to be replaced. Looking at the camera, I mean, everything looks pretty good actually. Inside, we're going to um, just wipe this dome out. It's a problem when stuff's been up for ages. Actually, there's a Quite a bit of water on the uh, on that. Just a little blob of water probably dripped out as I was opening this up. Now that looks wet, or is it a seal? Yeah, it's it's shiny because I think it's some sort of glue that's uh, on it. If you look around the edge, 
slowly, but yeah, that is absolutely fine. I was expecting a major issue with this, but uh, actually it's turned out to be fairly straightforward. Yeah, and then we can get this back up and tested. Okay, now this obviously screws together, so let's have a look for any signs of corrosion there. Well, there is just a little bit of corrosion around the thread if you just look around the edge uh, here. It's not much, probably easier to see it on the, on the threads here if that will focus. Hopefully you can see that just a little bit. So I think what I'll do is just grab the wire brush if I can find what I've done with it. There it is. Just got a little wire brush and I'm just going to go around these threads. And there is a little bit of corrosion coming off there. too bad but there is on there. Now obviously we uh, will need to get this apart at future date so we don't really want to seal it up permanently with anything like silicon. But I th think we might put some grease the thread. Let's just have a look. The lens itself, yeah, it's protected. There's just a little lens cover on there. That is all good. Excellent. So what we'll do is I'll just get the grease that we use on the cables here. It doesn't really matter what the grease is, just might help. Just going to run it around these threads so they are all covered. is obviously facing down so there's not going to be any creep of grease going somewhere it shouldn't do. Yeah, that'll give us a little bit of a seal. Uh, ventilation we've got of on this and there is absolutely nothing you can see where the cable goes through there into a little locking ring and then it comes straight out so I don't know what seal is around that might be worth just popping some silicon around there if we're going to put it anywhere uh, anyway let's get this uh, pop back on here Lens is clean, dome is clean. There is a, a gasket here, I think. Yeah, there is a gasket there. So um, it's possible that this was slightly loose, perhaps. A sneaky feeling I didn't undo it that much so I suspect this might have been loose if 
for some time. I'm trying to see where that there's a little label there that said uh, you know do not open. Just trying to see if I can see the corresponding mark on the other side. And I can't. That yeah, that's pretty tight now. Just feel a slight bulge <coughs> in the seal. So it could be it's come out of the factory just a little loose or it's uh, made its way undone as the seal perishes. This is probably a couple of years old now. But that is uh, looking good. Now, should we put some sealant around there? You know, I think uh, we probably don't need to. Uh, because I don't really see other than insects how water's going to get in there but uh, yeah let's uh, let's do that just going to clean this top off There's a little insect debris same within here I'm just going to clear all that out over the bin quickly. Okay, so that is done. There's uh, uh, no nasties in there anymore. If you're looking at uh, one of these and tilt cameras I can thoroughly recommend this uh, H view They're not particularly cheap I suspect uh, 180 each something like that but they have proven to be very reliable as I say we have numerous cameras up and uh, a few of these and they have been very good obviously remote view we can set up patrols uh, you can send alerts and set up zones where it will trigger you know any movement <coughs> you know, that will send a message to you okay so that looks good I think what we're gonna do is uh, yeah I'm just gonna use my normal day-to-day T-Core 75 that I use for bonding thermistors. I just need a little bit around here. It's the uh, easiest thing I can use it to hand. There we go. And um, yeah, that will do just fine. So let's get this back into there right. don't really see any need to put anything in with the stainless steel screws perhaps a little bit of grease over the top. I've got to find that one I dropped. So let's have a quick look on the floor. There it is. No seal on this. Uh, top and main housing sections so I think again just going to put a little grease around there let me grab the main tube of grease that will be easier and we'll just smear some around there and this one 
and the other one just to make sure this isn't going to react with the silicon bong this is uh, pretty good high voltage contact grease so it's not really going to cause any issues and we'll get that back in there and then we'll get this put up and back into action and uh, the reason I was videoing this is because I thought it was going to be quite the problem um, but uh, as you see or as you have seen this could have just been taken apart with uh, the camera left in situ it's only four screws so uh, yeah there we go and that is how to clean the inside of the dome on these and I may well just go around all the others with the, uh, with the ladders and just clean them all up and uh, there we go back in service hopefully for another few years look anyway hopefully that was uh, that was helpful in some way <laughs>